Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be actually taking a look at a different program which is called Event Manager X. Now, I just want to make this clear from the start that the creators of this app are not paying me to do this. I'm doing it because I like the program um, and hence I wanted to actually give some feedback um, what I like, dislike, but I'm actually struggling to find something I don't like about this program. Now, one of the flaws of Final Cut, and one of its um, pros, I guess, as well, is the fact that you can access all of your projects and all of your events, um, no matter what you're working with. Now, this is useful. Obviously, you can be like, okay, I just want a little bit of media from this project without having to re-import it into a whole new event. However, obviously, the amount of events you're going to have is just going to stack up and stack up, and then suddenly, you're going to have so many, you're going to be trudging through for ages. So, what um, event Manager X or Event Manager 10 sorry, does is it gives you the option to literally just turn off projects. Now the way it actually works is it makes another folder uh, next to your Final Cut events folder called Final Cut um, like turned off Final Cut event folder and it literally just moves it there it doesn't it, it literally it's instantaneous so you don't have to wait for it to do it. So what we can do is be like okay now I want to access my behind the scenes husky 6 and 7 and you can check this check this box here tell it to reopen final cut so we do that and then final cut will relaunch and you can see now that in our projects final cut 6 and 7 are now in our project library and you can see very quickly how useful this will be. For instance, we can literally just turn off every project. So we're only working with the projects associated with the particular master project um, that we're working with. And it works with events as well. You can see the user interface is very simple. You've got the event library and the project library. And this works across multiple drives. You can see that these are all on my extended media drive, which I've got plugged in via Firewire. And then you've got just one project on my actual main drive. And you can literally just go and turn these on and off as you please. And um, but like I said, you obviously you have to press move events and projects. I suppose an instantaneous where you don't have to refresh would be cool. Um, but I imagine that may not be possible. Um, one other suggestion is obviously if you have loads as you would have had to deal with in Final Cut, you're going to have massive lists. Um, so maybe if the event manager was here and the project manager was actually next to it, um, then you wouldn't just have this one long user interface. Um, but it's a very simple program. It costs, I think, $5, which is really good. I mean, that's about £3.50 for me. Um, you just pay via PayPal on their website and an instant download. And so far... I've had no complaints, really pleased, and I cannot find a fault with it. And this is, I guess, as a alternative to using the disk images as a way of shutting off projects. Now, obviously, the advantage of using disk image is that you can keep all of the media and all associated files in that disk image and turn the disk image off, but this gives you a very good, very clear, very simple overview of all your projects and events that you can literally turn off and on. So we just uh, do that, turn off Husky 6 and 7 again. You can see they are now gone, and we are back exactly where we were. And once Husky is, um, sorry, once Final Cut is actually loaded up once in a, I suppose, session, um, then it you'll find it's really quick to relaunch, which is really good. So my waiting around time there was about 15 seconds, which is not bad. And obviously, you're only going to do this like at the start of each project, and then you can turn the event on and off. But obviously, one of the things to bear in mind is that if uh, one of the things, sorry, I haven't personally experimented with is that if you turn an event off, but a project you're working with is missing, um, has actual footage in that event, I don't know if Final Cut will still find that footage, um, which will be something interesting to bear in mind. But, um, but that's my only comment. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're doing lots of projects on Final Cut, I would really recommend this program. Uh, it's called Event Manager 10.
uh, by Intell Intelligent Assist, and you can Google it and download it. I'll put a link in the description. But like I, like I said, um, they haven't paid me to do this. I'm just really impressed with this program for five dollars, and it has made working with Final Cut a lot nicer and a lot easier. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.